Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And this is Beatty, our little Pomsky. Pomskis are still a fairly new breed, and it's hard to know what to expect before you get a Pomsky. There's just not a lot of information out there about what Pomskis are really like. And whatever little educational content is out there gets drowned in an ocean of Pomsky puppy pictures and videos. Before Beatty, we had another dog that was half Pomeranian and half American Eskimo. And when we were researching Pomskis, we were thinking, we're going to keep the Pomeranian half and just replace the Eskimo half by your Husky half. How different could it possibly be? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Very different from what we expected. To make this video, we surveyed dozens of fellow Pomsky owners. And asked them about the things they wish they knew before getting a Pomsky. And the answers they gave us were very consistent across the board. And in this video, we'll cover the five responses that came back over and over again. So let's go! Number five, Pomskis are not lap dogs. Actually, Pomskis are the exact opposite of a lap dog. A lot of people get thrown off by how cute Pomskis look as puppies. They're all fluffy and they look all cuddly and adorable. And they think that their Pomsky is just gonna lay on the couch all day waiting to be pet by their owner. But just because they're cute and fluffy doesn't mean that they are cuddly. Actually, Pomskis are not a particularly cuddly breed and this comes as a big surprise to a lot of first time Pomsky owners. The two of us disagree a lot on how cuddly Pomskis are. I think Beatty is cuddly. She loves to get belly rubs in the morning and we snuggle on the bed. But again, this video is not just about Beatty and our relationship with Beatty. It's about the responses we got from multiple Pomsky owners we surveyed. One of the tricky things with Pomskis is that they only became popular in the last couple of years. And as a result, there are a lot more Pomsky puppies and adolescents than adult Pomskis. And cuddliness is something that a lot of Pomskis don't develop until they're two or three years old. When they're puppies, Pomskis just want to play all the time. They don't have time to snuggle. But as they grow up and start forming a bond with their owner, they become more cuddly over time. We have certainly noticed an evolution between Beatty as a puppy and Beatty now. But we would never use the term lap dog to refer to her. Number four, Pomskis are full of energy. It shouldn't come as a surprise that a Husky mix is full of energy. After all, Huskies were bred to run in the snow and pull sleds. But it's the amount of energy Pomskis have that kind of catches first time owners off guard. In the first six months, it's energy overload. But that amount of energy doesn't just disappear after the puppy stage. We have to take BD for walks all the time and our step count has been out of this world since we got her. And if she doesn't get enough steps during the day, we pay for it at night. If she's not tired enough, she wants us to play with her way past our bedtime. I remember once meeting a woman on the street who loved Beatty. The woman was probably in her 50s and she told me, I'm looking for a dog for my mom and yours looks like the perfect dog for her. And I remember telling her, I've never met your mom, but I can guarantee you that a Pomsky is not the right dog for your mom. The health app on our phone shows what a typical day looks like. You can see the long walk in the morning and the shorter walk after lunch and then the third walk in the afternoon. And in the afternoon, we normally take Beatty to the dog park. So even though we don't get a lot of steps, she gets a lot more steps than we do. She burns down all that pent up energy playing with other dogs. And once a week, we take her to doggy daycare. This is kind of a quiet day, like a mini vacation, when we have time to do things that we can never do when she's around. And the extra benefit of sending her to doggy daycare is that she's usually pretty tired the following day too. Woohoo! <laughs> Number three, Pomskis can be picky with food. And to be clear, not every Pomsky is picky with food. Some of them gobble down their food the way a normal dog should. But being picky is something you should absolutely be prepared for, because a lot of Pomskis are. Having a dog that doesn't eat is probably the last thing you expect as a dog owner. But lots of Pomskis are, and it can be heartbreaking when that happens. As a new Pomsky owner, you already have a lot on your plate, and your puppy not eating just adds to that list. When your Pomsky puppy doesn't eat, as a new owner, you don't always know what to do, and you get a lot of conflicting messages. Some people tell you to let your puppy go hungry until they eat, otherwise you're just training them to be picky. Others tell you that they may have allergies. But the truth is that Pomskis are just prone to being picky eaters, and a lot of Pomsky owners know that all too well. We made a whole video about our tips and tricks to make Beatty eat her food. And we're going to put a link to this video in the corner right here. Number two, Pomsky shed a lot. And it's not just the shedding, it's also the hair everywhere. 
And even though Huskies are somewhat short-haired dogs, they have a double coat. And underneath the hair you see, there's an undercoat that protects them from the cold. And twice a year, in the spring and in the fall, they blow their coat. And during that time, they can lose enough hair to make a blanket out of it. Pumpskies tend to be smaller, only 20 to 30 pounds for most of them. So the amount of hair they shed is less than a 50 or 60 pound Husky. But it's still a lot of hair. A lot. Some Pomskis can have short hair, like Beatty, but others can have woolly hair, like Z here, and they almost look like mini Samoids. For those especially, the hair is kind of a urine thing. But even with Beatty, we can find fur balls on the floor, on the carpet, or on the car seats. And we can never snuggle with her if we wear dark clothing. For hair, just like for everything else, every Pomsky is different. For us, we haven't found it to be a huge issue, no worse than if we had a cat or another dog breed. But other Pomsky owners have told us that their situation is way worse than ours. So you have to be ready for that possibility. And number one, Pomsky puppies are destructive. This is the biggest surprise that first time Pomsky owners have to deal with. Because Pomsky puppies look like little angels on the, all the pictures you see on the internet. But they're not angels, they're monsters. <laughs> Pomsky puppies dig in the trash, they chew furniture, and they chew your shoes. I had to buy a bunch of spare shoelaces because chewing my shoelaces was Beatty's favorite game when she was a puppy. Some Pomsky owners who live in high rises and cannot easily take their puppy outside try to teach their Pomsky to pee on a wee wee pad. But that doesn't work with Pomskys because wee wee pads are so much fun to destroy. When Beatty was a puppy, we had to double our toy budget because she would destroy them in a matter of hours. The squirrelies you see here are the survivors of a long lineage of squirrelies. And they did not all have such a happy fate. <laughs> These three are missing a few limbs here and there, but at least they're still alive. And SpongeBob here just suffered a head injury. <laughs> Which means his days are numbered at this point. Pomskis love to chew on stuff. In addition to chew toys, you'll also need to buy chew bones. Lots of them. Dog chews will probably be your biggest expense with a Pomsky, way ahead of food. And the best option we have found has been to order our chews from Postrek.com. We want to give Postrek a big thanks for sponsoring this video. Postrek is an online retailer and they provide natural dog treats with no artificial additives or preservatives. But they do so at a reasonable price. That way you don't have to settle for low quality chews, but you don't have to break the bank either. That's why we love Postrek so much. If you are a Pomsky owner and there are other things you wish you knew before getting a Pomsky, let us know in the comment section below. You'll be helping potential Pomsky parents make the right decision. And give this video a big thumbs up. Likes help us out a lot with YouTube recommending our videos to new viewers. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we're going to put a link right here. And if you want to watch our other Pomsky videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye. BD says bye.